What's up guys, it's Michael here. In this video, we're gonna talk about whether it's a great decision or not for certain states that are going to cut financial benefits. So let's get into it. Before you get into it, please click the subscribe button and the like button down below. Also the bell notification icon so YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let's get into it. What is going on? So what you can see is two sides, two political power moves that are doing, okay? You got the left, the left, that one side wants to extend the benefit. And because whatever certain reasons, which I'll get into it, and I'll give my own thoughts and opinion, because I, I see the benefits of both sides, and I like choosing things in the middle, because that makes most sense. And at the same time, some of them don't really make sense, which I'll still get into that too. And you look at the right side. The right side says, people are not being too, you know, we're giving them too much crap. So we're going to cut it. Cut it off directly by whatever specific date they set. So, what's the deal, right? Okay, so if one side wants to extend it and one side wants to get rid of it, what is in the middle? What's basically cutting all the BS, what they're trying to push, their narrative, and what is the truth? So there are many factors into this. I cannot get all into this video, but I'll, let, I'll list a few of the main ones. First, it's a pandemic, and it's a really unique pandemic where it's a disease. You got multiple groups of people that don't want to get vaccinated and one that get want to, wants to get vaccinated. And the same time is some people don't want to work because they realize all the benefits are coming in. They help sustain their current lifestyle. So why, right? And you have the other portion, the other group saying that they're pushing their narrative saying jobs are not giving enough benefits. But here's the catch. Which job are you talking about? They just said jobs. There's many types of jobs, you know. Some of them do give really good benefits and some just basically give none because they don't have any problems in the market that they have to deal with. So let's break down. So if they want to get rid of the stimulus checks, at the same time, think about where the stimulus checks come from. Money always talks. Like I always say in every single freaking video, money always talks. People still don't get it until this day. So stimulus checks, how do they come? Simple, from us, taxpayers, right? We pay money to the government and the stimulus checks are technically our own money. We're getting it back, cool. Here is where a really great advantage of people will t are willing to take advantage of it. So let's break it down. Both sides, one says no checks, one says yes to checks, continue. And one side, people need more time. I have a counter argument for that one. How much time do you need? You need more time, right? Give me a time limit. There's no time limit. You want me to continue giving you checks, hang out free money because this is taxpayers money. I mean, you know, there's at one point you gotta take responsibility. The other side wants to chop it out directly. They want people to get back into it, force them back into work. And at the same time is, that's true. And at the same time is, you gotta let people kind of prepare for it. Give them a warning date. Chop less, less, less. Instead of chopping all at once, maybe you can, you know, start canceling more and more out. Every check that comes in, instead of giving 1,400, go down to 1,000. From 1,000, go down to like 700. 700, go down to like 500. Down all the way back to, you know, you better start moving or you're gonna be left behind. You're gonna be in trouble. And the people who really do understand this, who right now are basically working in unskilled labor, is the best time for you to get moving. Because before everyone now realizes they've all been vaccinated, they all start looking for jobs. Because right now, jobs are in really high demand. One side's not saying high demand, the other side said, we need to push people back to work. They both have truth and they both have lies. First, jobs are in high demand right now. There's just because a lot of people don't want to work. And the good part is, you can write really good contracts of them. Meaning is, one side says, they don't give you good benefits. Hey, man, you don't have to sign that contract. You can always negotiate with them. You don't have to say, $15 an hour? I don't want that, I want 20. You, I can tell that, let's say, I can tell you don't have enough people working at McDonald's and you wanna pay me $15 an hour during this pandemic? Give them reason why. Why should I come into work? If you pay me 20, 25 an hour, we got a deal. Simple as that, give me a contract, I'll sign it right now. If you can give me $25 an hour instead of $15 an hour, I'll be on, I'll be on time to work every day, 24-7, Monday to Sunday. Hey, it's not, you know, this is the time to write those contracts before everyone comes in. With a lot of people coming in looking for jobs and all those jobs offers are being filled, you won't be able to make deals like this. Deals like this is a really, really big thing, especially right now. People are still really scared to go in. This is time for people who are able to think outside a box, to take advantage of it, go for it. And one side says, the left side I believe, it was not enough benefits. Go in, like I said earlier, write the contract with them. Instead, if you don't want to give me any benefits, fine. But you better increase my pay or else I won't take this job. You can find somebody else. 
because I can see on your sign right there, you don't have enough employees. So if you want me to come in and I'll be on time every day, write that contract with them. Increase the pay. Don't take whatever they say. So if they want to pay like $20 an hour, negotiate with them. Meaning if there's if they're giving up signing sign up bonuses like a thousand dollars, even I heard at some places up to twenty thousand dollars, you know, you know, they're really on the you know crunch time right now. They really need people. And that's where people who don't want to come in, which is apparently like majority of them, that's why there's even articles about this. People do come in, you can just get vaccinated and get back to work because it's the best time for you to increase your pay many times more than usual. It can go for more than one time, maybe two times, maybe hey, maybe even four to five times more than normal pay. A good example, look at the wood industry, the real estate market. So the real estate market right now, a lot of people are buying houses, right? And what's in short supply? Wood cutting, wood pallets, wood cutting, metal, drywall, those type of manufacturers because they don't have people coming in, no people in the property, and they are hiring. If you have to work out of state or work to like to a different state, maybe for like a few months, maybe like a year or two, go in and sign that contract. Just go and negotiate with them because they are looking for people. Because over there, geographic and location, some places, hey, if they can, if you can get like make like four to five times, maybe who knows, maybe even ten times more than what you can make from before, I'll take that contract any day. That's a steal. Because you can take all that money you make in, start your own business, and invest. And once the pandemic is over, or maybe even during the pandemic, start your own business thanks to the revenue, a massive amount of revenue coming in. Then when you start your own, you're basically set for life. Simple. As for the stimulus checks, a lot of people are basically being too spoiled by it. In the same time, whoever takes advantage of it, good for you. That's all I gotta say. Like watching this video and clicking the like button down below. If you click that, that's great. You're helping out this channel a lot and you're taking advantage of this information. The best thing what you can do compare those two besides investing is negotiate. Because right now, every time there's an economic downfall, negotiations are always up on the table. They're a lot more stronger than before because you have leverage. Leverage that you never had before. As soon as checks don't come in your state, then it's time for you, it's a sign now, for you to get moving before everyone else comes in. If other people comes in and start finding jobs and all the job positions getting filled, you don't have that negotiating power anymore. It's as simple as that supply and demand. Demand right now, it's still gonna skyrocket and anytime soon, I don't see it going away. Like wood, lumber, metal, silicon shortages. Hey, even the energy industry, they're looking for a lot of chemical engineering. So if you're doing like some type of engineering, they begin to chemical engineering because that is a really high demand and the supply is really low. So if you go work for like other big corporations, let's say, because unskilled labor right now is on a high demand, but a lot of people say there's not enough good benefits. You just have to negotiate, okay? Cut the BS main news media cut all the especially the politicians don't listen to them go find out by yourself as simple as that if you find out by yourself i guarantee you'll be really successful in the future and as for the skill labor let's break down the net skill labor right now they're pretty stable and at the same time the certain categories are in a really high demand so look at what's trending today the energy industry the car industry those right now are in really high demand so if you're gonna work for one of them for example tesla even new ev companies Sign up with them, make a deal with them. If you're going to be an engineer, find one that you like. If you don't like it, then spin out a way you like. Maybe you'll start your own type of type engineering company. Sign up a deal with them. If for skilled labor, certain categories in a really high demand, just do not like go in there and whatever they offer, you take it. No, 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 no. Always negotiate. That's how it works. If you can negotiate them, sign a better deal that they have. I guarantee you in the future, when it comes to offering job positions, even starting your own business and meeting clients, you can also always become a really good marketer, a deal breaker. Because in business category itself and working, you're always gonna have to deal with people. So communication is key. It's so important for you to communicate and understand what are plus or benefits, what leverage that you have. If you can figure out what leverage that you have, whatever does problem, canceling the stimulus checks and stuff, it won't even be a problem. Because right now, I see this is just a political move for you know both political parties. But at the same time, it's a warning. For me, I see it as a warning, hey, it's time for people to get back to work. At the same time, your time is getting shorter. The time for you to not getting back to work or signing those deals is getting limited because they're gonna cut those checks and other places, they're gonna delay it longer than other. That's why there are 50 states, right? You got 50 places to choose from where you wanna, how, how you wanna live your life. Just like that, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on my channel. Peace.